guys, Insomnia from Blender Tech here. I got another quick one for you today. Today I'm going to show you a quick texturing trick to save on file size by putting a specular or displacement or any other grayscale map in the alpha channel of a target file, a .tj file, to save both on texture size and just to save on complexity because you'll have one less file. So what you can do is you can take a regular texture like this that I have. This is, uh, it's, it, it is a, a TGA originally, but I could save it as a PNG or anything. And it's just an RGB. As you can see, I have the channels tab open in Photoshop. I have the red, green, and blue channel. So what I can do is I can hit the load channel as selection button and then the um, new or save selection as channel uh, button right beside it. And this creates a new channel, which will be an alpha channel at all times. And we can operate on this channel as, as needed. So if I was gonna use this for a spec map, for example, I might go into levels and I might uh, I might make just some tips of these leaves reflective and the rest um, fairly unreflective. So that's basically my spec map. And you'll see if I go back to just RGB without the alpha, I've lost absolutely no details. So I'm gonna take this alpha layer, I'm just gonna rename it alpha. Now I'm gonna save this file, albedo and spec. And I will choose 16 bits. Now if I go into my program that I'm using for texturing for in this example, uh, Unreal Engine, I have a material ready here. So I'm going to import that texture that I just created. It is eight megabytes. So I'm gonna go into the material editor and I'm gonna bring this texture in. And so now what I can do is I can use the regular red, green, and blue channels, which is represented by this pin as my base color. But since I have that alpha layer, uh, or that spec map hidden in the alpha layer, I can use that for my specular levels. And you'll see how it's changed the texture dramatically because of the uh, specular content. You can see it's much less reflective. So that's a that's a quick way to uh, just hide, uh, like I said, any grayscale map in the alpha channel of a of an image file, and it will bring the sizes of your documents down dramatically. And like I said, that's one less file to worry about. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're on social media and the link's on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can continually improve based on your community input. We also take requests, so we'll see you next time. Remember, create your way.